Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another video. Boozer here. Today's video, we're going to be doing our live arena. Uh, like I said, I've been away a past couple days, so I've been missing live arena. Um, but yeah, happy to get back into it. 2645 is where we're at right now. So we're inching pretty close to gold one. We fell a couple hundred spots, um, so we're down to 1400. So let's jump right into it. Jump right into some battles. Hopefully everybody's having a good weekend. Uh, went on a small trip, so I've been I've been away um, the last couple of days. Um, but yeah, was good. Back at it, back at it right now. So uh, luckily I didn't miss any of the fusion, so that was very good. Um, but yeah, back into some live arena. Let's see what we can do. Okay. I guess we're banning each other's warlords. So let's see. If he goes one support, then when Rodos is safe. Uh, if he picks two DPS here, then yeah, he does pick two DPS. So Rodos, Staltis. If I pick Rodos, then he's going to be able to pick UDK. I'm going to get locked out here. Hmm. Uh, gotta go Duchess. My last pick for DPS. I guess it has to be still Rotos, but I guess I'm going to get locked out. Could go Turvo maybe. Uh... Perhaps we can go Rhonda. No, he has um Helicath. Alright, let's go with Rodos. Of course he picks UDK here. So we should go first. The Ronda is a good counter to Rodos. Also a good counter to UDK as well. So we're gonna get locked out. But we got some good A1s. It's not the end of the world for us. Nice, his uh, Warlord is in Stone Skin. Hmm. Okay, let's protect our, protect our dudes. Gonna get locked out. <laughs> oh, that's GG, man. <laughs> that's pretty GG. He gets the shield up here. Nice. GG, man. But he needs to kill the whole team with one AoE. Not happening. Damn, weak hits. <laughs> Damn, weak hits. There she goes. Alright, GG, let's move on. Even if I win uh, 10 straight, I won't make it to uh, gold 1 today. But pretty soon. Pretty soon. Oh, you know what? I didn't change my blessings yet. I need to do that. I 
I did not change my blessings yet. Double Rodos. Uh, okay. Why would you do that? Man, I don't know. That's interesting ban. No stone skin. Okay. I mean, it's going to take him a while to chop through this stone skin. And he's going to burn through all his buffs, which is really nice. Try to burn through some of these buffs here. When the stone skins go up. Damn, harm is not fast enough to get enough turns here. Okay. All right, it's because we can provoke the Duchess. Really, really good. No, this should be it. Oh my god. Oh, he's locked out. Thank goodness. All right, GG. That's, uh, I think that's a mistake to uh, not remove not remove the UDK. I think that's a mistake. Because if you're going all in double Rotos, why would you remove our Rotos? Our Rotos would have a hard time killing two Rotos. But UDK, you should definitely get rid of. Yeah, like UDK hard stop both of his Rotos. Lockout's not the best, but it does give him a force, uh, force remove. I think Necrot has to come in here just to protect our team. Uh, Duchess. Yeah, I ended up passing on Sifi. Okay, so his reviver is gone. We should go first, lock them out.
I mean, he's locked out. He can't really do anything. A1, A1, A1. And then we AoE. Everyone dies. Yeah, he can't really do anything. I mean, he's fully locked out. He can only do A1s. Like, I mean, you can kill the Warlord, but our Duchess is going to live. Alright, GG. Couple a couple days out of couple days out of raid, so I need to catch up on some of the news. Um, I believe uh, blessings are out, so I will have to uh, make some changes. Mainly um, sheep, sheep requiring accuracy. Um, makes um some of these builds not going to work too well so i have to remove um have to remove uh udk so all right i don't mind this matchup harma is not going to die to um Kandrafon very easily but he does have the RNG machine, Uko. Maybe we can snipe him right away. Nope, we can't. Hmm. Yeah, this Gandrapon can definitely kill like my Rotos. Oh, I got the fear. That's so nasty, man. Oh, so nasty. So nasty, man. Just sliver of life. Okay. Extra turn, maybe? No. Yeah, this is tough. He's got the strip now. Landed the sheep. Okay. So I guess Dutch is going to die here. Okay, so he kills Duchess. Candrophon's gonna get a turn before my Rotos. Pro 
provoked. Yes, provoked. That's nice. Should be okay here. GG. See, she still works. Like, I haven't put any accuracy on my champions. They still work. Like, um, my champions probably only have like 160, 180 accuracy just from random gear. Um, but it was still enough to uh, sheep the uh, Uko. So, sheep still works. Um, that's why the buff... Or not the buff, that's why the nerf to um the nerf to um sheep or to change to sheep just wasn't enough. Like it doesn't really do too much, right? Functionally it still kinda works the same. People don't really build too much resistance. But if you just use champions with accuracy from Great Hall and Empowerment or from uh, faction guardians, then you're gonna have enough accuracy to debuff them. Damn, that kind of sucks. UDK. Well, we go first, so... Oh, actually, we don't go first. Uh, do we ever cut in here? Boost. We do cut in. Damn, this terrace. Big slam. Okay. Uh, it's gonna be ugly because Terrace I think can attack again, so maybe the one shots the uh, Duchess. Yeah. <sighs> Man, I feel like I should have won this one too. <clears throat> yeah, I feel like I should have won that one. Maybe, maybe I shouldn't have picked Rodos as the last pick, giving him a free UDK at the end. Man. Yeah, I think that was too easy a win for him. Yeah, it's probably my bad on that one. Damn, regrets. Such low stakes. I don't know. Live Arena feels such low stakes. Like, feels super low stakes. I guess when it gets to gold, maybe things matter a bit more, but not really. Like, eventually people just grind to Quintus, right? It's not like the end of the world grinding to him. I guess when you're in gold, though, it does take a lot more time to grind up. I'm not sure if I will... Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure how it's going to look in gold one. I need more champions, obviously. I need at least a couple more roster worthy 
live arena champions like for sure like a dps that kind of works i don't know gotta think about it but it's a lot of like yeah it's a lot of extra planning setting up uh so it's gonna take some time maybe he disconnected He can pick UDK too, so. I mean, this is this is fine. Um, the UDK versus Rotos is like. You have to get rid of UDK if you if you want to use your Rotos. So even if we get locked out, I feel like we have a better chance of like we have a better chance of um, yeah we have a better chance of like winning I think with with um udk gone and being locked out for sure because otherwise your rotos totally does nothing and our rotos is just like so strong that we need him to like do stuff i'm just gonna aoe here it might force uh, his rotos into the shield again and we also sets up the um the two turn hit uh the triple hit here Oh, he's going to lock us out. Okay. <laughs> got freaking zapped <laughs> it's always funny so he used his triple hit he has his aoe okay maybe we can control the duchess armor's on the field so Control the Duchess. Okay. Yeah, like ultimately, Ultimate Death Knight wins again. Like, it's just an insane all star champion against Rotos. Like, he banned my Warlord and I banned his UDK. We basically have the same team, right? Uh, I have CF, he has Duchess, but basically the same team. He chose to ban uh, my Warlord, but I chose to ban his UDK. And UDK is just a huge counter against most, like, any Rotos. So, I think that was the correct, correct ban. But definitely um, UDK is shining this session for sure. But yeah, I mean, I don't blame banning Warlord because Warlord is like, you know the lockouts is like the correct ban most of the time
Um, but I think UDK, if UDK is out there versus banning Warlord or UDK, I think it depends, right? It depends what your offense is, but I, I think UDK is probably the correct ban most of the time if you run Rotos. I would say like wide variety of the time, wide, like mass majority of the time, it's probably correct to ban the UDK with Rotos in your lineup. Because you, your Rotos is just ineffective totally ineffective with udk like if rose is locked out at least rose has a chance to come back out with like extra turns and stuff or just be effective with like a1s It's one or the other, like Leo or Candrophon. Uh, I don't know about this team. Um, it's going to be tough. Because it might be tough here. We have no control, so we're just like taking hits. And with the ally attack, it's actually like really nasty. Full stone skin. Oof, that's really nasty. He's just going to turtle up, right, with cardio. It's cardio faster. Let's see, maybe he ally attacks because he thinks he can buff up his Leoras to do more damage. No. He did not take the bait. Soften this guy up. But yeah, his ally attacks is like super scary. He's waiting for the right spot to use the ally attack. He might, he probably won't even use it here. Oh, he will. It doesn't do anything. So he uses the revive. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he knows he's done. Two revivers. I mean, he's going to pick UDK, right? That just makes the most sense. Cupidus, Cupidus, no Venus, triple, triple nukers here. Damn, he gets to hit first, really?
Okay. He's locked out, so only A1. Damn, that sucks. Okay, I mean it's over. Cupid just won't be able to kill anybody here. Maybe a maybe he can one shot with the um. Yeah, maybe he his single target is pretty strong, so he could one shot like the Cfi, but he's not gonna be able to carry by himself. Oh man, E T Lenny, E T Clan, man. Kind of low score for ET, but yeah, it's a pretty big. Gotta be a whale count. Plus three Duchess. No blessing though. <laughs> yeah, this is a pretty whale account. <laughs> yeah, it is what it is. Plus four Rotos. Nice. Nice roster. Oof. Nice roster. Yeah, that's, that's correct. We haven't, I don't think we have much of a chance here. He goes first, probably. He's gonna veil his team, and then we're gonna get nuked. Yeah, best chance would have been if he got sheeped right away. Yeah, we can't protect um, Warlord. Okay, locked out, so maybe we have a chance here. Nice, wow. GG man, freaking Warlord locks him out. GG, wow. GG, wow, 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 wow. So much empowerment. Mm, Rhonda. Rhonda with the sheep blessing. Hmm, interesting. Like she doesn't need accuracy in her kit, but so this guy's go like letting us lock him out. Um
It's fine. Something like Helicath would actually be kind of a good last pick, but... Like, when I see Mortu, like, it feels to me like he's going to let Warlord through. Yeah, so... Damn. You know, I made a mistake there. Yeah, I made a mistake. Because I saw Mithrala and I was like, okay, I'm just going to sleep her. And I totally forgot that Warlord has the, um, has that, <laughs> has the, has the wake up. So a little bit, uh, bad, bad timing on my part. Nope. He's like fully locked out. Yikes. Oh, here we go. He gets one peril. Is it going to be enough? Nope. GG. <laughs> That's all he got. He got one peril, not enough. GG. All right. That's going to be it for today. We did get a lot of wins today. Oh. You look at that, guys. Live Arena. They're adding all the all the battles so you can see all the battles here that's really nice we lost to this one the terrace arbiter and the leo i think we could have won this one too um maybe played a little bit bad in the banding banning phase but but nine wins today pretty solid made back about 200 spots so really really good probably get quintus tomorrow or sorry not quintus but probably gonna make gold one tomorrow so Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Let me know how your weekend was. Let me know how your fusion's going. And, uh, yeah, looking to catch up with you guys. So take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.